Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to our binder build for Temporal Forces. Only a week late, a week and a day, technically, uh, but I hope you guys are able to join us. We are going to uh, jump right in and start building. Welcome, everyone. We'll just give everyone a sec to kind of get in and then uh, we'll get going. But uh, if you guys weren't here at the beginning of the month, we opened up a booster box and it, here is everything we opened. I've gotten everything, you know, organized by number and uh, we're gonna start cruising through. If you have any questions, by all means, uh, ask away and uh, we'll uh, we'll get going. So here we go. Binder is from Amazon, in case you're wondering. These are fairly inexpensive binders, but they're good binders. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have my stream deck today, <laughs> so I uh, am not in control. And the editor has a camera today. We finally Hello. made that happen. Hopefully so you can hear me too, but we'll editor see. Editor cam is up. Um, but my stream tech, apparently every time we have a stream, we've got some type of issue. And so if you guys want to know what is a good binder, you always want side loading, not top loading. Uh, and ideally, like if you want a binder that something is going to be in forever, like years upon years upon years, you'd want something that zips. Um, but these are really good starter binders um, with the, the side kind of elastic. Make sure that it, you know, stays sealed. Um, but this, these are, you know, a good binder with a really good price. And if you can find them on sale, holy Hannah. These are just absolutely amazing. Um, you can get them in literally, I think, like 14 different colors. So let's get started. They are also really fabulous when it comes to just honestly, I've never had any cards fall out of them. I, I've just really, they've been absolutely great. We use them for pretty much all of our giveaways. And uh, for the price, you honestly just can't beat them. Okay, and hopefully I don't make too many mistakes today, but we will have to wait and see what happens. There is four. There is five. I'm I sure chat will keep you honest. Yeah, chat will most likely keep me honest. That is very true. Um, four, five, six. I was intrigued by how many, yet how few uh, reverses were in this, and I think I think it was somewhat to do with the A specs, somewhat to do with the fact that the the way this set is kind of laid out. I can typically hey Marshall, how's it going? Open up. Uh, Oh, hey, Marshall, I can typically open up a booster box and get a good chunk of my reverses. And we got a lot of them, but there were some of them that I'm like, there's certain colors that I'm like, where, where are my reverses? I just, I didn't get many here in the, in, in leaf land here. Um, we got quite a few of them, but you'll see there's certain colors, um, and certain energies uh, we did not get many reverses. And so when you're talking about mastering a set and uh, some people are are, 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 are anal masterers, um, you know, some of, some of these are gonna be a lot harder to master than others. And when I evaluate a set, you know, this is something I do keep in mind because some people really love to master sets and this does d definitely stay in my head. Okay, protein. Well, and the best Pokemon ever is Leaf Energy. So, you know, I'm, I'm cool with it. Yeah, Mr. Leaf over there. 
and I have made a mistake here. Already? Me, that was quick. Gave me a quick tracker. There we go. Fix that problem. 10 out of 12, 13, 14. Hey, 15. shiny Ricardo, how's it going? I'm kind of surprised to see all of you guys here, considering we had to reschedule yesterday. <laughs> so thank you for everybody being here. You were just saying you hope somebody shows up. Yep. Or I guess we were just going to talk to each other while you build uh, the binder. Apparently, okay. that was like where we were at, to be honest with you guys. So thanks, everyone. There is 16... Uh, I apologize for yesterday. Yesterday was a bit of a disaster. For those of you who uh, have been following the channel for a while, uh, you guys know that we have a, a separate channel called Slow Roll, um, where I share uh, more of my my day to day life. Uh, uh, ooh, and un unfortunately, I've been having a bout of my seizure disorder has been kind of out of control these last uh, this last week or so, um, and uh, out of the blue, um, around five o'clock yesterday, I had a seizure, and it takes me quite a few hours to recover from a seizure, um, and there was just no way I was going to be capable of being live at seven o'clock um, uh, when I had a seizure at at five so we unfortunately had to reschedule last minute so i apologize that we were not able to be live last night it was just uh it was just not gonna happen <laughs> so uh we hemmed in hod for five seconds we're like uh we're just gonna kind of make it work but uh yeah we we made the call very quickly that it was just not gonna happen so it's, um, it's tough though too because like the youtube algorithm really likes scheduled and consistency so yeah. we battle with that a little bit but yeah yes it, help first it, for it, sure. it's uh it could be hard unfortunately because we released a video today um if you haven't seen it uh check it out we released a lorcana video today because we have our regular thrill video for pokemon releases tomorrow um and so you know we had this really really set schedule for this week that we were hoping to keep and uh well unfortunately we had to throw that out of the window but Say la vie's life happens and uh, that's the way it goes. So uh, we we have a, a, a concept of we go with the flow here because we just don't have a choice. That's the way life goes. And uh, when, uh, when you have a life like mine where unfortunately my health does not allow for a very rigid schedule <laughs> at all. Uh, that's uh we just uh we we roll with the punches over here so that's uh this week is a perfect example of of us doing that so here we are yes thanks for the reminder don't forget to kindly politely press the like button we don't smash the button around here just a kind press and subscribe if you're not but i think it's mostly subscribers here so that's Yes, That's if you're right. not a subscriber though, please do kindly press that subscribe button. I know, Urgh! I still haven't gotten an enchanted. Very frustrated. Two, three, 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 four. New set's coming out soon though, so yes. you should have another shot at one. Well, they're coming out like five days apart from each other, the Pokemon and the Larkana. Is it that um, close? I didn't think it was that close. Well, they're a week Whoops. they're a week apart. They're Friday releases, so I'm pretty sure they're a week apart from each other. Four, five, six. I'll go look it up. I'm curious. Um, yes, a Nursula set, and uh, so I am. Oh yeah, May seventh. May May seventeenth is. Ursula's Return and then Twilight Masquerade is May 20th. Oh man, that's going to be a busy week. Oh, it's going to be a busy week. Yep. So, uh, and it's May long weekend. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a busy May and, uh, and it's right at the same time as the editor's mom's birthday. So it's, it's going to be crazy busy. Is that the weekend we're going away mm -hmm. too? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh well boy. it's right before that but yes it's okay. we're gone right before that so it's yeah it's gonna be 
a crazy, crazy couple weeks for us. So uh, I am, uh, we're prepared. We're gonna be, we're gonna have to be very prepared prior and right after. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to see how all that kind of pans out. 27. Slugma. There we go. I think I did that right. 27. Yes. 28. This mag cargo is just absolutely adorable, but his poor shell is just like falling apart. 28. 29. How are people liking Temporal Forces? Because I am not the biggest fan, but. Yeah, the editor is really hating really hating on uh temporal i uh for the record am not it's not like my favorite set but it's i'm not i'm not hating on it the editor however uh is is hating on it hard uh so i'm curious are you guys collecting are you guys just ignoring are you guys uh oh you know ricardo that's a great question. Uh, yeah, Marshall, I totally get where you're coming from on that one. Yeah, there are cards that I really want. I have not bought. We're obviously opening for the channel. Um, we are not collecting Temporal at this point for ourselves. Um, we haven't... There's, there's five or six cards that I will be purchasing from Temporal for... For our collection there's a couple illustrations that we'll be purchasing for sure at some point um but i'll probably wait till they tank a little bit before i do so um but uh definitely not a set high on my list but i'm not hating on it still working on 151 yeah we're all we're hearing a lot of that we're hearing a lot of people that are really loving Pal paldean fates and are really s still on on that one um uh, i have a feeling a lot of people who are playing the tcg are opening temporal temporal forces because of uh the transition in the tcg and the fact that we saw a massive transition um with with cards um so i wouldn't be surprised if I hear that there's a lot of people who play who may have opened some temporal three cards away from uh, three cards of having one of every paradox the icons covering it paradox oh it's paradox yeah. very nice that's a nice set I do love me a paradox set. yeah paradox is better. I think I think I like temporal because it just seems like it's so hard to pull from which means I get less shorts, so I'm less happy. Oh, oh okay. So, content. <laughs> it's all about the content for, it's more for the content editor. Focus, Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> Obsidian was just so nice, you know? With lots of hits. Yeah. I did... Don't get me wrong. I really loved Paradox. Paradox was a great set. Um, Paldea is still one of my favorites. Um, by far, I think... I, I'm still in love with Paldea. Uh, Paradox is probably my second favorite if I had to pick. Though te Temporal with the Ace spec cards and some of the playability of it all, it's it, it's high up there for me. I know a lot of people are hating on it, but um, it's definitely up there as far as some of the just some of the aspects um s just some of the things they did with it especially considering when it was released and what it's gonna do to the 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 history we'll see we'll see what happens i'm interested to see what the next set's gonna be because the next set's gonna be really for collectors um and so it's gonna be interesting to see i'm still fishing for evolved <laughs> to okay I'm, I'm confused i yeah i think so yeah 
Yep. Just like you. Just for the Magikarp. Fishing for the Magikarp. Yep. Fishing for the Magikarp. Ooh, a dragon set for the summer. That'd be cool. Yep. I, I think they're trying to uh, uh, two-peat Evolving Skies. But they're going to go like dragon instead of evolving with the... Interesting. That'd be cool. We'll see. The summer is such a lull for card collecting. It's wild. That's when Evolving Skies came out. Yeah. Cool. It's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. Fishing for that magic carp. Yep. Yep. Same here. Yeah. A lot yeah. of everything's shooting up in value right Every now. It's wild. We're seeing another massive spike right now. And it's really, really fascinating to see what's going on. And I... Pokemon is going to have to reprint a few sets, and if they don't do it soon, it's it's going to hurt hard. So they're pricing like themselves out of a certain market right now, out of people who are just not going to be able to collect uh, purely because everything's just getting way too expensive, um, just in general. And so I really hope that they start reprinting certain sets. And they're just not doing it fast enough, quite frankly. And so we'll see what happens. Um, we saw them print a lot more temporal than I, quite frankly, expected them to. Um, and so it's going to be really interesting to see whether or not they reprint some of the sets. Like Paldea, uh, or um, uh, Paldea Evolve. Like 151, not the Japanese set, but the, the yeah, American. They, they gotta do English 151, you I, think. I don't see why they wouldn't quite frankly um that's purely speculation on me but i just have this feeling that they're going to i am going to be shocked if they don't especially with the fact that they're doing the japanese version um but the japanese version had the reverse ball um what was it called there was a specific name for them but the reverse with the 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 Someone will tell me in the chat. Um, the re the reverses had the pokeballs on the back of them, and that's what really made that set shoot up in in interest and in value. Um, and that's what people were really were really mad that they didn't do that on the American one or the 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 English version. Master ball. The master balls. Oh, yeah, the master ball reverses. Thank you, Justin. Um, and so. Um, that's something that's really why they're reprinting 151 japanese be, was because of the master ball reverses and so i don't know if they're gonna reprint um if they're gonna reprint it the english version so it's gonna be interesting to see what we see from from then there's major rumors that evolving skies is gonna be reprinted which i call i call bs on quite frankly um unless somebody really knows something i don't i am going to be shocked that they're going to put yellow borders back on their print lines i'm going to be absolutely shocked like i said unless someone really knows something i don't i keep up with a lot of rumor sites and a lot of information and i just haven't heard credible information of that yet um but there's some mass sell-off of Evolving Skies happening across some major channels right now. And because there's like this scare going on. And either it's people trying to sell off fake Evolving Skies to try and like flood the market. Which is like, okay. And it's like people are selling their Evolving Skies at like 12 like 10 12 dollars a pack which is way cheaper than your you've seen in almost a year um to two years now so either it's fake evolving skies packs or um they've truly put the fear in of like of a reprint in investors who've held evolving skies for literally the past two three years which is absolutely insane because these guys have been waiting forever to try and make money on their evolving skies and now they're dumping it um which is absolutely 
bonkers. So um, if you are into evolving skies, now's the time to buy. <laughs> Unless there actually is a reprint coming, but I, I would be shocked. I would be flabbergasted if that's the case. 60, 61, so. That's the thing. Yeah, it would be the third reprint of Evolving Skies, and it just doesn't make any sense. But make sure that if you buy cheap Evolving Skies that it's legit, because I think we're going to see a lot of fake stuff hitting the market over the next little while, just because it, they've had enough time to make a lot of really good fakes. Um, so make sure that the sources you're buying from are, are legit. Because we're going to see a tank in price, I think, uh, on Evolving Skies. If these rumors keep spreading as much as I've seen over the last two, three days, it's um, it's been brutal. Whoever started this is genius marketing. Like, genius. And if it's Pokemon doing it, I love them for it. Um, because I just, I just don't see in what world they would reprint it it for a third time it just doesn't make any sense to me like like just logically or financially because i just don't see why they would do it like they've got so many other sets that need to be reprinted in my eyes that uh yeah that's just my thought on that but we've seen crazier things from pokemon so I don't know what to tell you. It's not that I wouldn't be happy with a, another Evolving Skies. The shot at hey, getting my own Moonberry on. I'm not going to be mad. But. Um, and pissing off all the investors. That. You know have held product. For god knows how long. Hey. I open my product. Pokemon's meant to be opened and enjoyed. So. That's just my my personal opinion on that. But uh, yeah, and scalpers. Yeah, 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 agreed. So, so uh, the thought of all of them being, you know, absolutely royally pissed off for a while, and you know, getting some of them out of the game for a while would not make me mad whatsoever. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Any plans on opening Star Wars? That's going back up a bit. Oh, but. yeah. Well, that's that's a good question for the editor. Because he is a Star Wars fanatic. We have quite a bit of Star Wars um, memorabilia? Eh, just stuff. Stuff? A lot of Star Wars Lego. He's a, he's a Star Wars Lego collector. Yeah. Um... And he's a Star Wars fan, but almost fanatic. Yeah, I would call him. He, I yeah. wouldn't call him. I would call him close to a super fan. Very close. Did I had I, I had not watched all of the Star Warses when I met him, and that was a problem. I'll put it to you that it way. It wasn't a problem. You just had to fix it. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, exactly. And so uh, I was quickly put into a marathon of Star Wars is when I met him. And so, um, yeah, let's just say I I was put through a very long marathon of Star Wars. Is. And so um, I've approached him on the card collecting situation that is available to him. I just don't, regarding I'm, Star Wars. I just don't know where to start. Like, I don't know. Like, there seems to be a lot of different lines of it or something. Like, there's just a lot of it out there. I just don't know what's big and worth getting or not. But it doesn't seem insanely priced either, so I'm a fan of that. No, and we've been offered some pretty good deals on it, too. Yeah, I just don't know anything about it, so I'd have to look into it more. But that's for another day we're still niching on on pokemon and a little bit of lorcana so we're not niched on anything <laughs> mostly be, pokemon let's be real here we open anything almost that's a segment i want to do at some point yeah just haven't gotten there stuff 
just haven't gotten there. Look at this beautiful purple page. When you build your master set, you put your ultra rares in the binder as you put your card binders here until you put your commons in the commons. So I put my reverses in at the same time as I put my commons and uncommons and my regular rares. So all of those go in all at the same time. And then everything higher than a regular rare goes in at the end. We do that purely for pretty sakes um, when we do these videos. Um, I actually do that when I build my own binders as well. Um, just because I like having everything higher than a rare um, put aside because we usually do either shorts with them or we put them under the microscope in our regular videos. So they get put aside kind of automatically. Um, and so that's kind of just how it gets done. They also get auto kind of auto sleeved. And so they get automatically sleeved, um, and put aside when we do our videos. And so because of those reasons, we kind of just built our system this way. It just kind of makes the most sense for us. Um, in maybe two. I will be honest that if, quite frankly, if we had the money and or the capacity to do it, our reverses would also be sleeved for you guys. Unfortunately, we just, our reverses and our rares would be sleeved. Um, we just unfortunately don't have the capacity to do that at this point. Um, it's something I do want to do for you guys, but we just, we already go through so many sleeves, um, but it's something I do want to kind of upgrade to eventually in the long term. Um, in my binders, when I when I build my long term binders, all of my cards higher than an uncommon are are sleeved. Um, so everything higher than an uncommon is sleeved in a really rare set or a very expensive set. So some of my Lorcanas um and some of my older sets which i don't have yet but some of my older sets i will most likely sleeve every card um we haven't gotten to that point yet but that will most likely be the case eventually um that's just what we call good binder etiquette is just kind of one of those things that if you have the ability um that would be kind of the best way to go about keeping your cards in the best possible condition um, it's obviously not something that everyone can do but you know it's something that you can do over time too right you know every time you go and buy a pack or something or every time you see a sale right you can go and and buy a pack Typically around Christmas time or at, you know, Black Friday, Boxing Day, things like that. They'll often have sleeves on sale. That's when we buy like thousands of sleeves and that lasts me the whole year. So we do the math on how many sleeves we use in a year. And then we buy all of our sleeves when they're like 25, 30% off. Um, and that's typically how we, we do things so that we can manage and keep up with uh, our sleeve needs, as I put it. And the editor was absolutely gobsmacked at how many sleeves we go through in a year. It's, it's absurd. And it's just going to like keep increasing. And it's just going to get worse. <laughs> as we keep growing. So that's, <laughs> that's cool. It's just funny, like the numbers. Um, yeah. Would you say it's better to... Um, buy sleeves and put it in like a cheaper binder or would you get a more expensive binder and have less sleeves which way would you go on that i would most likely get a more expensive binder and sleeve less but that really depends on the scale of binder and the sleeves like you still you have to sleeve a bare minimum of cards like 
ultra ultra rares and hires if you're not sleeving them you you shouldn't be collecting sorry because there's just like there's this bare minimum of sleeves that you should be doing um because if you're not sleeving those and putting them in the most expensive binder ever it doesn't matter like <laughs> oh, wait a minute. everyone is getting ziplocs instead of sleeves <laughs> Because the, the reality is, is that every time you take a card out of a binder, you have a very high chance of damaging the card. Right. Like, okay. so the reality is, is like, put it in a penny sleeve, but the penny sleeves are not a penny if you buy them in bulk. Like, if you really collect that much. Or you give away that many cards. Or in our case, <laughs> give away that many cards. Um, we buy them. So here, I'll show you guys. Camera's tracking. Heads up. Oh, here, I'll cut to you. Yeah, cut to me in full. We'll, we'll take a detour into, in, into sleeve land. This is, this is uh, roughly how many cards, this is a stack of a thousand sleeves roughly we've used a couple packs but this is how many sleeves we buy every quarter ish so and you're only sleeving what again you're sleeving ultra rares and up we sleeve we penny rares. sleeve everything higher than a regular rare right now now, these are marked at $1.99. And we actually pay, like, I think we pay 80, 80 cents per pack. Um, and these have 100 in them. So when you see a sale go on, you so you need to, one, look up you're right typically getting them locally will be the cheapest way to do it so finding a local store that has usually every quarter every six months you can go back to the binder we'll start filling while i keep talking so every quarter every six months usually july christmas typically your local stores will that carry these types of cards will typically have a sale go on on all the accessories, binders, penny sleeves, everything that accessorizes your cards. And that's when you want to buy. And you typically want to buy, you know, three, four, five packs of them. Because typically, your stores will most likely give you a discount if you buy five, six packs at a time. Most card shops will. So in this case, our card shop, if you bought 10, they give you an extra, it was an extra 5% or something. I can't remember what it was at the time. So what you want to do in depending, it depends how much you collect, right? So you want to roughly figure out how much do you collect, how many penny sleeves are you going to go through, right? Because you don't want to overstock up, right? Like, so we figure out roughly how many cards we're going to go through and how many we need to get us to the next sale, right? And that's kind of how we go from one, one to another. And so that's how we do it. I'm not saying that's how you should do it. I'm just saying if you want the best bang for your buck and to protect your cards so that you can resell them later or if you have extras or whatever it is so that your cards keep the best value long term. Or trading too. Trading is big. Trading them, especially if you have doubles, you want to make sure you penny sleeve your doubles so that they maintain their value until you can sell them off or trade them or whatever. And so penny sleeves 
are called penny sleeves, but they're not a penny. You should never, ever, ever pay a penny for a penny sleeve. I don't think I've ever paid a penny for a penny sleeve. Um, you want to be able to pay probably half that. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I know most collectors probably sleeve up everything. I would say not everything, but they sleeve up all of their rares, all of their reverses. I would say most collectors go that far. It really depends how you collect. It depends how much how much you collect. Like we're at a point where if we were to do that, we would go through like a hundred thousand penny sleeves and it would get absolutely bonkers and yeah, we just be... were we're at a point where we're we're so scaled at this point that it, it just has gotten absolutely insane hello geo daddy love the name and just so that you guys know we we top load we top load anything valued at five usd or higher when we ship we'd love to top load everything that's ultra rare or higher but we got to a point where that wasn't realistic, unfortunately. I'd love to top load more. We actually, we top load a little bit more than that now because I've gotten to a point where we've had some minor shipping issues. We've actually upgraded our boxes and stuff for shipping so that we've had less issues since we started boxing um, in the US because the American Postal Service, I love you guys. Um, but, uh, we've, we've learned our lesson, um, and, uh, we've started, uh, boxing things a little bit differently. Um, who has recently we've shipped to, and we finally got our backlog out. Yeah. Our entire backlog is done. Everything is shipped. Everyone out. has gotten, hopefully has, hopefully is receiving and, or has received week. Um, locally, everything should be out. Everything's uh, out. It's the American shipping I, service. A lot of stuff gets stuck at the border for up to a week. So, oh yeah, customs and stuff. But. Because of customs, unfortunately, customs is slow. Um, and so I'd have to check. Everything has reached the border, but whether or not it has passed the border is a different story. Um, I'm just happy it's out of our hands. I'm just glad we, yeah, finally get to tell people. That. That's a good question. Um, so we, uh, I'm, I'm lucky in the sense that we have had multiple businesses over the years. Um, and I have a cricket, and so I label all of my binders. Or you will. You haven't yet. Okay, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> it's a project. It's a project I haven't started yet. Um, and so once, once I've done it, I can show you guys. Um, but that's what I, I intend to do is taking, uh, cricket labels. And I know, I know there are, um, Etsy providers who do do that. Um, however, they can be very, very expensive. And quite honestly, I think they're all very overpriced. Um, that's wild. Uh, Shiny Ricardo said he's been watching Thrill for over a year. That's that's, yep. that's that's amazing. Thank you. It's it. We've we've been here. I well, it'll be a year and a half almost right away. That's wild. Yeah. It, it feels like we just started. Honestly. It's um, time flies when you're having fun. And learning lots so yep. much. Even going back like a month is is hard is hard for me to watch. Yeah. It's mine. tough. It's so uh, it's one of those things that. It's it's crazy to think, but yeah, we uh, we have been around that long now. We have. We're we're definitely gonna be doing like a collection update, and then probably yeah, show your labels then at that point. Yeah, yeah, we do have to do a collection update soon because I've added quite a few slowpokes to my collection recently. Um, and I, and well, I mean, it was already shown, but I added to my. I doubled my <laughs> okay yeah you went from one to two my bulbasaur collection so it's pretty it's getting there you know 
Oh, well, welcome to the Chasing Nation if you just found us last night. Nine, seven, eight, nine. Well, I'll tell you a little secret. Tomorrow's video is, uh, you should watch Is a it. madhouse? It's, it's bonkers. Yeah. You don't miss it. Yeah, we won't, we won't, uh, spill any beans, but, uh, tomorrow's video is going to be, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a banger. It's an utter utter banger and you are going to want to comment and win that giveaway because uh there's some good stuff there's in there. there's close to 80 dollars worth of cards tomorrow is it that much oh man we we just shot it like we before the live so uh it's been uh it's been a night the maybe is it 80 uh, we're close yeah and i'm talking usd so um, it's in, it's it was insanity. At one point, I just stopped talking because I literally didn't know what to say anymore. Um, it's it's utter fabulousness. Um, I've I've never seen the madness that happened. Yeah, I I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, you'll have to watch tomorrow's video. I saw uh, sub since they started the channel. Oh man, how did you find us? I'm just curious. Did you stumble across us or? Especially in those early days. I know we had some weird stuff we did, so. Yeah. Hey, Shattered Reflection. Yeah, I am curious how some of our first subs found us. I think sometimes the algorithm just knows. It was recommended. That's yeah. cool. Nice. Sometimes it just knows. Cause like we've done some weird like i've ran facebook ads i got kicked off kijiji for running like we just tried everything oh yeah we've done everything at the beginning reddit got really mad at me for a while it's it's good fun yeah reddit didn't like you <laughs> no i'm still not back <laughs> Ah, so it did work. See, it wasn't. It was oh, worth Justin's it. Okay. from a Kijiji ad. Okay. Cool. Ah, another Facebook recommend. There we go. Hey, you you do what you gotta do. Oh, that's that's a great question. You should answer that one. What do you want to read? It to did me? you ever make a mistake where you didn't put uh, space for cards? You you had to shift the cards all around. Oh well. Uh yeah, multiple times. Um, you did it live once too. Yep. Where you we finished it and then you had to go rebuild over half of it. Yep. After the live. Yep. That was that was not fun. Yeah, I realized three quarters of the way through during the live. This is probably one of the first lives we did, and I realized it. And I just kept going because we were already over time and I just, I just said, no, I'm just not, I'm just not fixing it now. I think when you were flipping through it at the end, you kind of just combined the pages and flipped it over together. So no one noticed. Yeah. Yeah. And then good. I, we ended the live and the first thing I, I turned and I'm like, oh yeah, by the way, I've got to rebuild this whole thing. And he, and he was like, what? And I, I showed him the mistake and he was like, oh, his face was priceless. I wish I could have caught it on camera. Uh, and uh, yep, that was by far the biggest mistake I've made. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. Nobody noticed. And quite honestly, it was one of those things that like it happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, you even caught, well, before he corrected it, you caught Real Breaking Nate made a mistake yeah. building his binder, too. So, yeah, it happens even to the big guys. Yep. Yeah. And it's, it's one of those things. It's just you sometimes you don't find it until you pull the card that you've missed the slot for, which is what happened to Real Breaking Nate. He finally had the card and then realized that his entire binder had to essentially be rebuilt uh and then had to do it off camera uh but that's the way it goes um 8 15 okay and then sometimes 
after you realize it in the moment and you fix it on the fly and that's a lot nicer because then you don't have to you know rebuild it 17 times um it, it depends how alert you are <laughs> How many videos do you shot that how, day? Yeah, you know, how how much of how much coffee have you had that day? Um, how many binders have you built that day? Eighteen, nineteen. Um, I also there are certain days where I'm going through thousands of cars worth of bulk, and uh, when I go through bulk at that rate. 2021 20, when I'm going through that much bulk and then I build a binder that's really bad because I don't have the brain capacity to do that and I really shouldn't do that quite honestly and so it's uh one of those things that uh, I should learn not to do a day of bulk and build a binder at the same time 21 thanks for letting me know yeah I guess my headphones are pretty loud so I didn't Oh, volume was low. Well, there you if go. If you need it more, let me know. I'll, I, can, I got lots of room, but so I've stopped doing that. I don't do bulk days and build a binder at the same time anymore because that just creates disasters. 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah. So, yeah, you just kind of got to know yourself too that sometimes it's just not good Binder building day. 24, 25, 26, 27. How far along are you? Uh, we're almost, well, we're almost at the trainers, so. I get that. I know, so much tongue. <laughs> This one's hilarious. We're getting there. Thirty, thirty-one. See, like, okay, we got quite a few reverses. I shouldn't complain. Because this was just one booster box, right? It's one Is booster it box. Yeah. So, like, it's not bad yeah. for one booster box, I have to say. Unpheasant. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad it got to you. 35... Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Gonna look up Twilight Masquerade, see what's in it. Yeah, so my favorite Pokemon is Slowpoke. And then of course it's Evolutions. Um 39 um i am also a huge fan of hmm, who are the other big you ones you like ditto a lot yes yeah. i'm a huge ditto fan um who else is there there's so many <coughs> Yeah, and then Drampa recently, too, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so. I do love Drampa. There you go. <laughs> um, Oops. Drampa in the new set, and some of the new sets, actually, this card. I just love this card. And quite frankly, the illustration um, from this set is just absolutely fabulous. Um... um Snorlax is also a fan favorite of mine. Oh, yeah. Because um, who can hate on Snorlax, quite frankly? Um, 
those are, yeah, those are some of my tops. Top fanatic ones. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. The editor, what are your some some of your tops? Top ones. Well, your well Bulbasaur, of Bulbasaur course. Bulbasaur, the OG, yeah, the OG. Yeah, that's, um, that's your... yeah, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, all the Pidgeys. Big fan. Uh, what else? I eh, look a good Tyranitar card. Honestly, some of them are pretty awesome. Yes, yeah, some of the Tyranitars are are beautiful. <laughs> That's why he's there. Lined up that way, actually, nicely. Yeah, it, it lined up. It's not kind on of, purpose. Kind of too perfectly, quite frankly. When's a TCG live live? Well, we've we've talked about it. Working on it. Uh, I need. Uh, quite frankly, I need a new deck. Um. That works. I've been playing around with a couple new decks. Uh, and uh, I am working on finalizing my new competitive deck. So once I've got that figured out and um, Tinka Tink is so cute. I fully agree with you on that. Um, probably would make my top 20. Oh, some of those Tinka Tink cards are so good. Shiny Ricardo, what are you playing? Who's your main attacker? I'm curious now. Oh, that doesn't go there. Oh, he gets One, distracted her enough two, to make a mistake. Three. Yeah. Uh oh. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's make sure that's right. Two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's where all the ace back cards go. Uh, Sixty. Oh, yeah, you're getting to the end. And sixty one. Cool. Okay. First generation. <laughs> That's Blastoise? Shattered Reflections. Hmm. I can't remember. Shattered Reflections. I'm assuming the name hmm? gives a hint. I'm guesstimating here. Or maybe Mew or something. Yeah, that could be. I don't know. I don't know my generation's very good. That's the other problem. It's, it is okay. it's blue. Okay. It's blue. Okay. Oh, Hypno's a good guess. Could be Squirtle. Everyone loves Squirtle. Is that is that one of your guests, Squirtle? Yeah, I'll go with Squirtle. Iron Leafs is going in here. Then we've got Torterra EX. Okay, Torterra, go in. Torterra. Some of those sleeves are so tall. I know. It's annoying. Okay. Ooh, Dragonair. Mm, give us another clue. Okay, so now we've got one full page. We're missing one. That's pretty good. Who's next? Iron Boulder, that's not going to be helpful. Those all go over here. Graph rig. Okay. Two spots open. Um, do, 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 do. Who's going over here? Don't think we have that one. 
Oh, that had been so perfect. Finish that page. Oh, well. Oh, you can change. You can finish this one. This one, though. Oh, awesome. Iron Boulder EX. There we go. Another two pages done. Gengar. Where are you going, Gengar? Right here. There goes Gengar. That card's so beautiful. Mm, first generation blue. Manaphy? No, Manaphy's not first gen. I don't think so. Toxtricity? I don't think it's first gen either. <laughs> you only know all the modern stuff. Oh, Lapras. That's a good guess. Now that's a good guess. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> too, you're too tired for this game. I Yeah, I, I am. I am way too tired for this game. Okay, apparently I missed one over here. Yep, I did. Frathrig. There he goes. Well, that actually finishes that page. That's beautiful. Lapras is a very good guess. I agree. My brain is too tired for this game. Okay. Maridon EX goes right there. And then, yes, this is right. Raging Bolt goes right there. And now we're just missing Coridon, which is kind of surprising we didn't pull it, quite frankly. I think we pulled that one a lot. Oh, we've, like we've pulled it like three times, but we just didn't pull it in this box. Okay, now we've got our beautiful and Ooh, stunning there we go. Ace Spec cards. Camera still doesn't do them justice. Oh, though. it just doesn't. Unfortunately, they're just way too pretty in person. There goes one of them. And this one goes over here. Right there. Oh, absolutely stunning. These Transformer Pokemon are wild. Oh, that's not a hint. Sure it is. <laughs> okay. Who's left? Who is left? Okay, this one's next. My favorite duo in this entire set. 165, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's shitty. It won't even sit next to each other. There you go. A lovely deerling. Have you seen that drift plume deck? Oh, Shiny Ricardo's answering me from his deck. Polygon. Uh, have I seen the Drift Plume deck? I probably have. Have you been beaten by it? Probably. <laughs> um, but I'll have to take a look at it. I haven't uh, I haven't played in the last week unfortunately <laughs> I've seen a drift plume a deck a few times but yeah it does do some serious damage I've seen it a few times I I, th I think I read about it as well on a forum recently um, but uh, it's uh, Honestly, the last week I haven't been able to play, so it's uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to back to it. Hopefully this weekend. Crossing my fingers. Um, 
Okay, who's next? Who is next? Ooh, yes. I forgot we pulled this insane winterscape, which I didn't even know was in the set, quite frankly, <laughs> until we pulled it. This Metagross winterscape. Absolutely hilarious card. Okay, 65... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Metagross is going right down here. There's that beauty. And then here are the last two beauties. The broccoli. Feathers. Oh, it's a bird. Is it a legendary bird? First generation blue has feathers. Ar Arceus? This Torterra with a tree coming out of it is absolutely h hilarious. And then our lovely trainer, Salvatore. So let's place these last two beauties. Okay, nine and then 80. Articuno? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, is it Articuno? Oh, we lost the editor cam. Articuno. There we go. We got there. It took us 10 times too long, but we did get there. 85, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, my camera just decided to. 200, 1, 2. To not play ball anymore. Well, it's time. It just says it's time to go. That's what it yeah, decided. Yeah, that's fair. I got to go edit tomorrow's video anyway. Yeah, so. exactly. The editor's cam decided, well, we're four minutes over anyways. Yeah, that's true. And there is Salvatore and his beautiful suit. And there we go. That is one heck of a binder. One beauty. All ready to rock and roll. And ready to ship off to its home. I'm pretty happy with that. One box. I think that's fabulous. Do you want to go to main cam? Ready to rock. Well, it has been fabulous speaking to you all. I appreciate all of you guys being here with the last minute change. I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening. And please, please come back tomorrow and check out the absolute madness video that is tomorrow. I promise you will not be disappointed. I hope you ha all have a wonderful evening tonight. And don't forget to keep on chasing on as usual. We'll see you all tomorrow.